Hi there Transform fans, this is Gizmo Flap 1313 bringing you another video review. This time I've got for you uh, the four power discs for the Decepticons and as you can see by the title I'm also reviewing uh, this bad boy. This is Voyager Class Soundwave from uh, well, for a Cybertron line but it is also from the uh, the uh, War of Cybertron game as well. Um, same it's the same as the deluxe one I've reviewed. Um, well, I say it's the same. It's the same vehicle. There are differences. The wheels um, have these like pink things on them. They're really nice. Um, this red bit here, bit of pit purple here, uh, red tab here, and there's this cannon thing here. Now, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna review that in a second. Now, I've got to say, sorry that you know, it, I, videos haven't been going out for like quite some time. Um, just basically, you know, I've been going back. Um, had a quite a few weeks of um, a job at the at the moment, so uh, just getting used to that. Uh, you know, I a bit bit far behind when it was like the summer off, um, and I'm back to school now, so uh, I can concentrate a bit more. Um, on getting these done, um, so you know there we go. So these things come, uh, these things come in uh, these little plastic, oh god, containers, and there's a hole in the back so you can push it out, um, so it goes all the way through. Um, and basically these things, I'll show you what these do a little bit later on. Um, but what I will do for you, because I'm not a hundred percent on their names, but I think that's Ratbat, that's Ravage. And this is Frenzy and Rumble. Uh, I don't know which ones, but what I will do is I will put their names along here. So you've seen them. Um, so main main person in this review is this guy, um, Soundwave. Uh, I love this. I love the, uh, the deluxe version. It was a fantastic figure. Um, and this one, it, it's massive. It really is huge. I mean, uh, how can I show you? Here's one of these discs. The disc is a like it's practically the same size as the wheel, if not a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little, little tiny bit bigger than the wheel. It's really quite big. It's bigger than Megatron, which I'm a little bit annoyed at. But uh, who knows? They may bring out a Voyager Megatron, and it's a little bit bigger than this, which would be brilliant. Now, um, accessories that this comes with. It comes with this little uh, like machine gun turret do dummy. What's it? Which you can only put on here. There's no other pegs on the vehicle mode, I'm just checking, no, only there it can go, so I'm going to take that off, um, and also I found out that, because um, when it when I transformed it, it was flat, that this bit here was flat at the front, and I was thinking, oh, there's a gap here, and I didn't like it, so I thought, well, hold on, so I started moving this, because I knew that this bit was uh, articulated here, and I was able to put it up there, so it hides that gap, now the only thing you can see, uh, yeah, you can see a gap here, and if you if you push that down, it sort of like messes the whole like um, figure up because it'll like dislocate the hands and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's I, I love this. I, it's more detailed than deluxe, but it's a, a bit a bit too big for me. Uh, it's just it it uh, yeah I don't know. <laughs> Now I have to say before we get into this, this little button here does something to this this bit here, um, which is part of the gimmick. Now you push this down, and this thing flips down. As you can see here, this is what. Oh god. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> um, this is one of these discs. Now of course this is Soundwave. Who do you think this is going to be? That's Laserbeak. Now I'll show you what these do in a, a bit once I've transformed it. I don't want to do it now because it's a bit awkward when you do it like this and uh, you know pushing it out but uh, just so you know there's a little tab there which is not the same on the other side which I like that but it, it's sort of a subtle difference that it's missing that bit so you just peg that back up there um, and then I'll just put that there so transform it first thing you want to do push that flat then come to the back and what you can do is you can lift this little flappy thing up like that that gives you access under here grab these silver bits and just pull them and that will untab the, the legs from there so just rotate them do the same on the other side wiggle it if it doesn't come out so fold them like that I am suffering a little bit with a cold at the moment so sorry if I keep sniffing um, but uh, yeah so once you've done that flip these feet like that 
on both sides and then grab these wheels rotate it round and they'll sort of they'll sort of have a, a, a loose click but you'll know when they're in because they'll, they'll just click um, then you want what you want to do is you want to just grab this bit here it's this little blue thing here is attached up here you want to just use the legs and just pick uh, and, and do that so it's just been tabbed in on these two bits um, rotate the whole thing round and then the two tabs there there and there will go into these bits and we'll just peg that in so you can stand them up like so there we go so let me just lift this up there we go lifting up there we go don't fall over um, then what you want to do is you want to grab this this bit here it's, it's very much similar to the transformation of the deluxe just bigger um, rotate these round like that all the way to the same on the other side rotate all the way round grab these halves split them oh my god that light piping then flipping it that was evil <laughs> um, split them like that and then these are actually pegged in on the side and I'll show you where the peg is now when I take these off so just wiggle that off um, and you can see there's a hole there and there's a peg there that's literally what you what what what's happened um, lift that up like so so the grey piece is then going to be flat against there um, and then to transform it it would go all the way down and then against like that so do that before you do that actually rotate the wheels round that's probably the best thing to do that gets them out of the way do the same on this side so lift that up like so oh my god <laughs> uh, rotate these round again it's very much like the deluxe and they'll click in Rotate the hands round, lift them up if you really want to. Grab the fist out of here and pull it out with your nail. If you haven't got a nail, um, you can sort of reach into the the thumb and pull that out. So once you've done that hand, you can then go onto the other hand, twist that, rotate it, and then get your nail in there. Pull it out and twist like that, so he's ready to fight. Um, then at this back bit here, so it looks a bit weird. So this is what we're, this is how it looked like when it was in the car mode. So it was like that. So what you want to do is you want to. That's what we've done. We've lifted it up so you get the feet out. Um, now what you want to do is you want to push this in as much as you can. Then you want to pull this blue bit back on the bar, and you want to rotate this whole thing around. Or down sorry you don't need to push it on the bar and then rotate that around so that it's like that on the back I don't know what you can do is then you can push this you can push that on the bar let me show you so this this bar here I'm just gonna push it back down so that sort of gets it a bit more flatter to his back um, like so and then the last feature, probably the main feature of this uh, figure, uh, let me just rotate that. Um, there's a peg on his shoulder there, and obviously the mounted gun goes there. <coughs> so just stand him up. Doopy doo, there we go. There we go. So that's Soundwave, um, it's a really nice figure, really nice figure, um, you can see all around, um, and that, even the detailing, um, if I can get into it, you can see inside the cassettes, um, where is it, there, and there, there's his face, with some quite ni nice light piping, as you can see it, it's at the top, so that's pretty, pretty nice, pretty damn cool. Um, like so. There we go. Um, so sound wave again. This button here, that was the bit that was uh, you could I pushed. So you push this, and this little thing comes out. Now what you want to do is um, you can pull this whole thing here, this grey piece, all the way back out. Um, and if you want to get it out and you don't want to like spend ages just like pushing it, you can just, uh, well, God knows how this is going to act. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this, 
and this should fire out. Now, hopefully, you should see it on the floor and what it ha what happens. So, uh, sorry, that's my computer. Um, so let me just do it like that. Okay, I'll move this back. Now I'm going to push it, and hopefully this this it should work. So you push this out, and so it'll push it out, and then drop. And this is laser beak. Um, now I know I know the name of this one because, uh, well, who, who doesn't? It was on the packaging. Um, but I mean, quite a nice. It looks very much like it should be like a phoenix or something like that. Um, like red fire stuff like that. Um, it's not like hugely detailed, but it it really does. It 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 you know it's it's a very simplistic figure. Um, the head like bobs, and what what's quite cool is you can actually transform this back to its like disc form if you want to say that. You get the head, and that'll push these bits around. Flip this up so it locks that head in place, and then push these like so. And again, uh, lovely detailing, exactly the same as uh, the uh, the other the other ones. Very nice, very nicely detailed. So you can see there is there is a slight difference in how they look because um, obviously each one of these aren't exactly the same. But to activate these other ones, all you got to do is just well, slide <laughs> slide to the way. They do work sometimes, and then other times they just really don't want to work. There we go. So um, here's this blue one. Now this is either frenzy or rumble, but you already know that at the start of the video. So uh, that's that little one, uh, and then this one is very much like no, that didn't work. No, that still didn't work. Come on, there we go. Uh, that one's very much like laser beak, if not exactly the same, just different color. Um, same transformation back. So da 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 da. -da. Then we've got. Uh, this is either another Frenzy or Rumble. Oh, that one transformed. Well, hey. Um, so again, you can see that that you can see that this one is uh, slightly different to uh, the blue. Well, no, sorry, no, sorry, it's not. <laughs> Wrong words. It's the exact same sculpt. Um, oh God, of the figure. Um, as you can see there. Sorry, I'm I'm sniffing quite a bit, but uh, oh, there we go. Focusing is actually working slightly. <laughs> um, sorry. <coughs> uh, yeah. So they are slight. Uh, obviously, the colours are different, but they're exactly the same. No matter what you say, that looks like a Gatling. That's not. <laughs> it's a bit like a Gatling gun. And obviously, um, if you wanted to, you could probably even get the um, the Legion class weapons and put them on their hands. Um, but uh, to transform this one back, just for or sake. Uh, now, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> um, oh, they wrap up there. It's sort of like a little puzzle, which I quite I quite like. Because um, you've got to sort of wrap the figure around. Are you going to work or are you not going to work? Oh, it's very much like a. Oh, oh, there we go. Right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Like that. So it's back to normal. Like that. Now what you can do with these, so I'm going to just demonstrate. Oh god. They are very sensitive and I'll t the reason for that is actually because of this button there. That button there. That button. That little button there. There. Um, now what you can do is you can pull this whole thing out and it gives you, um, oh god, sorry. <laughs> so using that same silver peg you can see there that uh, there's a there's a hole, look, so quite a big hole and that can fit three of these things in. So you just push these in. They are quite, there's quite a snug fit so you've got to just be careful that you, you know, you don't damage them. So I put wrap that. I think that it was that that was Ratbat, um, Laserbeak, and Frenzy and Rumble, Frenzy or Rumble in there as well. Just stuff it in. 
so it's a nice transportation thing if you wanted to like take them anywhere and then you can just close that and if you really wanted to push it you can then you know push the thing at the back and all f three of them would hopefully fall out and transform but sometimes that doesn't work now sorry I didn't show you this one um, Ravage um, at least I think it is um, so let me just go on the floor again just so I can show you so slam it down and that worked like a treat <laughs> Um, oh no, that is how it's supposed to transform, but you've just got to grab this black piece here, flip that round like a tail, and then you want to grab this piece there. So rotate this bit around, pull the leg out. So some of them do, do require a bit of transformation, but other than that, that's Ravage. Um, sort of like a Jaguar... Thing. It's not like the uh, movie uh, Ravage, but uh, it's not a bad Cybertronian representation. So you've got Ravage and Frenzy or Rumble. Um, and like I said, each of these can go in their own individual case. Um, nice Decepticon symbol there. Um, obviously the holes in the back. Um, and then, you know, you can transform them. And I think that's just part of the fun to be able to, you know, transform them. Because it really is quite fun just to mess around and find how to transform them. Because uh, some of them can be quite complicated. Because some may require you to open certain parts and close certain parts. And this one... Oh, there we go. This one's a bit... It's a bit weird because you've got to sort of force the figure to close on on itself. But uh, yeah, I like the ones that are sort of like unique, like this one and the other one. I wish this like changed slightly, um, but you know you can't have it all. Um, so yeah, put that at the back there. So yeah, I mean that that is sound wave. You know, you push that there. Oh god, sorry. That is sound wave. Um, with all his discs, now you, all you have to do is, uh, I like to just hold his shoulders and then hold the blue bit at the back and just push, 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 push. <laughs> Sometimes it just really doesn't want to work. <laughs> like I said, it's a very snug fit and some of them get a bit stuck. Very stuck. Come on. There we go. So that's that. So I had two out of three transform, uh, and one of them has gone on the floor. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah. So there's that one. So that one did transform. That one was on the floor. <laughs> and that one obviously didn't transform because it doesn't come out. It seems to be that the last one that comes out always messes up. The others have got enough power to push out because obviously there's the they're at the end, you know. So uh, yes, yeah. so it's it's not a bad figure all all in all. Um, I I like it. I enjoy I enjoy I enjoy messing around with it. It's a pretty enjoyable figure. Um, a lot of features when you buy the extra bits and bobs, um, but uh, so worth it. So worth it. Oh, there we go. Uh, wrap that round like that. I do like these discs. I really do. Um, they have got Autobot ones, which I haven't got round to buying. I don't know if I will. Um, but there's, I think there's like a Rhino, um, another flying bat sort of one. Um, uh, wait, which one's this one? Uh, uh, oh, that one's that one is Laser Beak. So I'll put Laser Beak in there. Close that up. So there's that, um, and then these can go in their cases, but um, you know, you can get these Autobot ones because there's about three different moulds of uh, this Soundwave figure. Uh, I think there's another one called Blaster, um, which comes with Yellow Bird, I think, um, and then there's another one, I think, I think, um, I just, I, it's quite funny how they uh, remould and uh, repaint certain figures and it's just like, oh, they're brand new. Um, there we go, just click that back in place, like that, put that there. Yeah, there we go, guys. So, I'm back, again. <laughs> Sorry for the delay with the videos. Um, it's just, you know, been a bit of a hectic uh, summer and getting a job and 
stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to uh, keep an eye out for the next one, which will be another Voyager for Fall of Cybertron. I guess you could probably find out who it is. Um, and then after that, I think we will be moving on to back to Transformers Prime. Um, we'll go through them then. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!